Hey YouTube, look it's daylight! You, you can't see much difference, I mean... <laughs> but anyways, I'm just uh, about to do some work, you know? And uh, Dad's almost finishing up uh, a lot of the, uh, the drawers, so that's pretty cool. Ah. <laughs> it seems that Little Man and Justin are back home. Hi! I got my ninja killer. Up. You got it? <laughs> Why are you sticking your tongue out? That's not ah. fun. Hey, watch this. What? Why do you pull off his head? <coughs> Ew, that's gross. Hi, Justin. Howdy. Hi, Mom. Mom just got home. Wow. Is it dinner time? That's awesome. Is it? Oh, I guess I got the new game. My boss got it for me. It's awesome. It's the, uh, yeah, that game I was telling you about. <laughs> hey, YouTube. I wanted to show you that Dad pretty much finished the cabinets in here. Or at least uh, a good half of them. So the, the kitchen's looking a little bit better, a lot more normal. We actually moved a lot of the stuff back in here. So here it is. Let me scoot back so you can see a little bit better. Those are the top cabinets that Dad just finished today. And here's the bottom. I thought they looked really good. Now this is uh, the the unfinished version. These are the uh, archaic or what the gothic-ish ones I was things I was talking about. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I guess he wants to start this side here soon. I'm not sure when he wants to, because you can see this is like really dark wood over here. These are a lot lighter over on this side. But it's really nice, and I think Dad did an excellent job. I'm not really good at, like, messing with wood and stuff like that. Even though I took, like, two years of wood shop. <laughs> did anyone else do this? I was, I think I, I did a bad thing when I did this. But instead of taking a language, I did wood shop for two years instead of taking two years of a language in high school. I, I, I regret that. I should have done a language, and I... In, in hindsight, I really wish I had. I would French would have been a really nice language I would have liked to learn because that's French and Spanish and Italian. They all kind of inter intermingle, you know, within each other in certain ways. In some ways, not always. But yeah, I guess I. I think I'm gonna try to learn a language in the future, anyways. So that's that's a good idea, right? <laughs> Uh, this place still, it, it's got that that smell of, uh, you know, uh, the, the stain on these. Because these ones, Dad just stained them today. Because he, uh, he ended up, you know, uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, he sanded them all down and uh, he stained them all by hand. So, and he, uh, he had his little uh, power sander and then he... You know, he had to sand certain areas by hand and got his hands all real raw and everything. My dad's so awesome. You know what? I, I needed to state that these, like, plastic things kind of freak me out. Look at this. Look at the wall and look at it. If you look at it, it totally reminds me of freaking E.T. Oh my gosh, I'm waiting for a little alien to pop up. Elliot. <laughs> Come on, you gotta admit, it's kind of creepy, right? Right? Mom's making these for school. I guess it's the 100th day that the kids have been in school is coming up. So she makes those for the kids. So that they can put them on their little faces and they can... Uh... It's too cute. Mom's a teacher. <laughs> At least I'm starting to feel a little bit better about the kitchen. I mean, it looks like, you know, there's no more stuff on the table here. Well, at least, no, not much more. But <laughs> there's like the juicer up there, but in a few pots. But at least it looks like a kitchen again. And I, I still have a, a 
because it still smells like the the stain and, and, and it's got a feel I still feel like there's some sort of poison somewhere in here so I don't really want to kind of be in here I don't know <laughs> it's is that just me I don't know because I still smell the stain I don't know Justin went to bed and I ended up watching this movie it was called uh, it had a uh, Robert De Niro in it, and Edward Norton. And it was called Stone. And, and the movie was... I can't, I can't say it was good. I'm, I'm not very... Not really religious. But this, this movie was... And, but I get religious things. I understand the backing and the feelings behind it. Because for a long time I was really religious, but... But now it's just sort of, you know, going away kind of for me. But uh, reason and stuff like that are just part of it. But <laughs> that and uh, whatever. But anyways, with this movie, it was really weird. That, that's all I can say. It was really weird. If, you, if, if you're like into religious stuff or... I don't even think it was really religious or not, but it was... It was just odd. I don't know how to explain it. Mia, you do the talking. Kitty? Hi, baby. Alright, she's being creepy. Never mind. You know, it's pretty weird. Because Justin has, like, almost no religious background whatsoever. So, he and I kind of, uh, get together and and just talk and stuff like that about about that type of thing but but when it comes to actually talking about religion and stuff he is like completely clueless or or I saw the movie uh I'm trying to remember the name I can't remember but I watched a, a movie with him and it was it was a religious movie and he just totally he said he didn't, didn't get it and and me, I, I, I got it because I, I felt there's a feeling behind it. Because I remember, because it's, I guess religion from my parents was kind of like ingrained in me from them. But, uh, it, it, it really, it was weird, you know, that he just didn't get it whatsoever. And he's he's pretty much been the same way with his son. He he believes, and I believe this too, that you shouldn't expose your children that to that type of thing, or you shouldn't force it upon them, uh, because uh, they should make their own decision about that. And I totally agree that kids should make their own decision about that type of thing. I don't think uh, parents should force them to learn things like that that should that should be completely a decision by the kid uh, that stuff shouldn't be ingrained in someone and forced upon them I don't think no definitely not if you if you wanna know my my kind of the way I feel about religion is I am agnostic as far as like the agnostic type cuz there's different types of agnostic people me I am a uh, a, a, a wisher or a hope hopeful agnostic in this I mean that I hope that this type of thing like like God and stuff like that I hope that it's real but most likely it's not and this is how I how I feel so I do have that like hopeful feeling whenever I'll see something and, and stuff like that you know you know what I mean but uh but all the uh all the you know scientific evidence and all this stuff is leading towards nothing like that but which is a total amazing and beautiful thing in itself which if you've ever heard like Carl Sagan and all these scientists talk about how beautiful the universe is and how we don't need a god to be able to appreciate it and stuff like that there's there's just it's just a beautiful thing in itself and I've actually cried watching some of these videos. If you look in my favorites, you'll see uh, these videos that people made. Uh, they're like, uh, they're, they're music videos that people made from, uh, what I can't remember the name of it now. 
ah, yes, auto-tune. Yes, they auto-tune uh, their voices and stuff like that, and they make these videos. And I think it's, I, I don't remember their name, but uh, if you look at my favorites, you'll see them. But they are just some really great videos that are really inspirational. And it's, I don't know. <laughs> And that's just the thing. I'm agnostic because I don't know. And I don't think that we, we can know until we die. <laughs> so I, I, I like to, to you know, see the physical and what we can find by, by scientific proof. And maybe, you know, they'll find some sort of proof for some sort of God. But it, right now it, it seems like there's just... The world is way too old based on our scientific measuring and mathematics of how the world is and how everything is moving currently and how we predict it w was moving and stuff like that. But I, I don't hold anything or anything else against other people and what they believe either. So I understand the... Uh, the whole religious thing too because you know I still hope that something like that's real but I just I just don't think it is but I hope it is I don't know I really don't like talking much about religion and stuff like that I, it just it gets people like jumping and going and I, I don't like crazy debates or anything. I am such a pacifist. I like to just sit here and play my video games and be happy. You know, I told, oh my gosh. I had a friend way back in, um, it, well, it was 2003, 4, or 5, 2004, I think. I had a friend. Her name was Nikki, what was it? Nikki or, or something like that forget her name, uh, I'm totally spacing, Nisi, there we go, I had this friend in, while I was working at Wendy's, her name is Nisi, and she was an actual, she was a Taurus, like me, and she was really into, like, marijuana, she smoked marijuana every time she got home from work, she was a really good worker, she, she was no joke, she was, she kept that stuff, you know, at home, and then work at work, but, um, it ended up that, uh, she used to tell me that I just want to go home and relax and smoke my J or whatever she said. She was just awesome, but she, <coughs> I haven't talked to her in forever since I, I quit working there. But, uh, <laughs> it was, it just reminded me that I sounded like her when I when I just said that with I just want to sit here and enjoy my video games. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm getting a little bit of crazy off topic here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a weird Tuesday night. I don't know what's going on for you guys, but today was weird. I got to play two games that I won that I hadn't played in forever. That Champions Online one. Then I played that Monday Night Combat one. Which was fun. They were both really fun. So I hadn't played either of them for a while or, you know, whatever. But, <laughs> yeah, today's just been crazy. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just babbling. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to go to bed. It is way too late. And I need to get some rest. And I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And sorry about my little weird religion rant. But I don't know. I, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. That's good enough for me. Better left unsaid. Because I don't have bad things to say about any of this stuff, but I'm, I'm good. That's, that's, that's my, pretty much my premise. I'm, I'm good in just the way I feel. Yeah, I think. But I'm not trying to be stubborn about it. I try to listen. I try to listen, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a really good night.